my name is Deborah Jack and I'm a multidisciplinary artist. I'm going to tell you about Trade Winds, a video installation by Keith Piper. So the work is made up of four crates that are um, aligned together. They are made of wood. They look sort of like shipping crates that have video monitors in the middle of them, in the center. They're arranged almost like in the shape of a cross where there's one image of a head, the two side images have the artist's hands, and then there's an image of a foot at sort of what would be considered the bottom. The video images inside the monitors are like sort of a video collage, they're layered, um, they're multiple um, images that are made up of shipping manifests, images from the slave trade, from newspaper articles of runaway slaves, of auctions for enslaved people. It also has uh, images of tools of punishment for uh, enslaved people at the time. Along with the piece, there's an element of sound, and it's a sample from a Burning Spear song called Columbus and it talks about what about the Arawak Indians. So it hints at the indigenous people of the Americas at the time as well. So I first encountered Keith Piper's work when I was a graduate student. And because I'm an artist from the Caribbean, I'm from St. Martin, it was one of the earlier works for me that engaged with the video and multimedia and new media that talked about those issues of slavery, of post-coloniality, and the like. So the title Trade Winds I think ties into then the actual winds that are that ships use to travel across the Atlantic. And so there's always a sort of tension, I think, in, in work like this that, that talks about the both and something like the trade winds can be as innocuous as a breeze, but also at the same time be a generator for the, the movement of, of humans as cargo. I think what's powerful about this piece is the fact that it does take these images out of the archive, out of books, out of libraries, out of the museum, and sort of bring them to the forefront, but in a way that's so creative that maybe people don't realize that they're being taught a lesson. I think that's you know something that I do in my own work where um, there are these sort of powerful messages, but people resist them if they think they're being told something as opposed to experiencing it. Yeah, and I think it's important, right, because those economies that were established in those days are the economies that still exist today and that are thriving and they've sort of remade themselves, right? But they have their foundation, their financial foundation in that period of time. <laughs> 